The Kira Slicer released an alpha version 5.3 that includes some new tree supports. Let's check it out on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Ultimaker Cura released a version 5.3 of their slicer, but it's really just an alpha release focused on tree supports, or Christmas tree supports, as they said for Christmas. But all the features that they're advertising right now are tree supports and all its settings. And this is all based on the work by Thomas Rahm. So Cura released this alpha version for all the different platforms so you could download it and try it and offer some feedback. To really understand the benefits, I want to go back to the current version version 5.2.1 with the existing tree supports. So here's a Benchy and normally there's a line that can print across the Benchy so the popular method is to print it at 30 degrees and use tree supports. I'm going to use my good profile and generate supports but instead of normal I'm going to use the built-in tree supports. I'm going to go with the default settings so I'm not going to change anything and then we'll just slice it from there and see how it turns out. After slicing, it says it will take 3 hours and 30 minutes, 18 grams of filament, or 5.95 meters. And I click on preview, and this is what it'll look like. You can see there's supports going everywhere, wrapped around the Benchy. I printed it on an Ender 2 Pro using some standard PLA, and here's the results. Looks pretty good. Now let's try this with the new Alpha version. So here we have the new Alpha version loaded. It's version 5.3 Alpha plus Christmas. And we'll do the same thing. We'll turn the Benchy 30 degrees, same profile as I used before. I'm going to generate support, and I'm going to select the new tree supports that's built into this alpha version. We're going to slice it, not change any of the settings, slice it, and see how it compares. After slicing, it says 2 hours and 58 minutes, 17 grams of plastic, and 5.5 meters. Compared to the other one, we've taken away 30 minutes, one less gram of plastic, and 0.45 meters less filament used. So that's pretty good. And if you look at this, the branches go around it and don't touch the model as much. So it should be easier to break away as well. Here it is printed on an Ender 2 Pro, and it came out really nice. It did a good job of printing this, and it looks just like the preview. The arms or branches are wrapping around this thing, and from every angle it looks like it's going to be easy to break away. So here's the original version 5.2.1 tree supports and these things clearly are not as easy to remove. I had to get a screwdriver out, start prying at this thing, especially the internal, and it was sticking in spots and causing definite damage to the print. This inside took a while. I had to actually push it out in pieces and then pry the last bit of it. And when it was done, I could see damage everywhere on this print. The new one mostly broke away easily. The front section just pulled right off. This back section, I had to break it and then get into that inside. So I still needed a screwdriver, but it was only a little bit of prying, and that thing popped right out. A little piece in front here, and this was ready to be reviewed, and it looks so much cleaner than the version 5.2.1. The only real flaw I could find was this spot right at the front of the Benchy. When I compare the two fronts, the version 5.3 clearly has this flaw. Here's a close-up of it. It's definitely a spot within the front of the Benchy, but the version 5.2.1, the old tree supports, doesn't have it. So that's one advantage to the old tree supports. If I look at the rest of the model, though, the old tree supports definitely don't break away as clean, and it leaves the model very rough. The same area with the new tree supports is very clean. No residue, no damage. This looks so much better. If I compare the back of the model, the original version 5.2.1 tree supports leave damage back here as well. This is going to require some cleanup to make this look better. While that same area with the new tree supports from version 5.3 is perfect. I see no flaws here whatsoever. So the original tree support is almost like tree roots, and the new tree support is almost like tree branches. I like the way it wraps around the print. It doesn't affect it as much. It's easier to remove and leaves the print a lot cleaner than the original. Now I like the original tree supports. If you get the settings right, they still break away a lot much easier than standard supports. But this new tree supports are really nice. And I know Prusa Slicers come out with some new tree supports. It seems to be the hot item right now in slicers. And theirs look very similar to this. In fact, that's where I got the 30 degree Benchy idea because that's what they were 
doing to test their tree supports. Oh. I don't think I'll be printing a benchy at 30 degrees anytime soon again. But I like the new tree supports. There's no doubt about it. And the results are much cleaner. It's a much cleaner print, less nerds and defects to fix versus the original tree supports. So overall, I like where this is going. I look forward to the formal release of version 5.3 of Cura. Hopefully they got a few other gems in there. But for right now, I highly recommend you check out this special version and try it out for yourself. I'll put a link to it in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.